Hey everybody, uh, I just bought this Air Force XLC Turtle Beach uh, because I have the Turtle Beach X11s or whatever, but um, I've used them a lot so the speakers kind of started to wear out from me using them so much and I just wanted a new headset. So I figured I'd buy something kind of cheap and I did. So I'm going to give you a review on the Air Force XLCs for Xbox 360. Alright, now we got it open. comes with your normal stuff. Uh, right here, you have the headphone jacks. Or not the headphone, yeah. One for your Xbox microphone. And this one to plug it into the green cable so you can hear. This is the green cable I'm talking about. Also, this uh, comes with this adapter. You plug in your yellow and red into those two, and then you can then plug into the TV. That's why it has the female on this side, male on this side. And right here is the green cable that plugs into this, so you can hear. So yeah, uh, headphones are pretty nice. I don't really like the colors that much, but it is really cushiony as you can see, and uh, pretty comfortable. So, I'm going to test them out right now. Also, yeah, it has, you know, that folding feature, but it's kind of expected now. So I'm going to test these out. Uh, see how good they are, and then I'll get back to you. For some reason, the audio cut out here, so I'm going to have to do a voiceover. But yeah, the headphones are really good. Uh, really good sound quality. Inside the box, you get all this stuff right here that I show. Cables, little sticker right there. Uh little thing, you know, if you have trouble, you can call them. There's an instruction booklet. Oh, no, that's the... There's the instruction booklet. It tells you how to set everything up. I think it's a really good headset. Really good sound quality. You know, just overall really good. There's only two things I didn't like about it. And that was, uh... One that it didn't go as loud as the other Turtle Beaches, which is understandable because the others plug into USB for extra power. But, um, the other, the main thing that I have with it is that the volume for microphone and for the game are the same thing. You have to select the voice to come out of the TV, and I was just kind of a hassle, because you either turn down the game volume on some games with the two loud so you can hear people, whereas the other Turtle Beaches, you know, has its own microphone volume. But, it is you know, half the price, so I guess you get what you pay for. But yeah, they are very comfortable in noise cancelling. You only turn up maybe half volume, maybe, and you know, you can't hear anything else outside of that really. So the box doesn't lie. Overall, it's a really good headset for only thirty bucks. You know, the other ones that like, run higher. So I definitely recommend it. But like I said, those two main things, uh just for me bring it down, so Still recommend you check it out though. It's pretty cheap, and yeah. Yeah, I have my phone silent on accident. <laughs>